I love how you say that um, I can't pinpoint to a pivotal aha moment. Hmm grew taller and bolder despite the cues, rebuttals, and certainties of those around me who told me through a slightly furrowed brow or a shake of the head that even attempting to cross that void was wrong. I just thought that, I was so moved by that because I think of your five-year-old self and there's something in you that knows I can't do that or somebody is going to be upset with me for doing that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And it's also interesting too in the sense of I couldn't fault the people who are telling me that because that's all that's how they learned the world that's all they knew that's all they knew i love this next sentence too when i look back at my childhood i often say i always knew i was a girl since the age of three or four a time when i began cataloging memories no one not my mother my grandmother my father or my siblings gave me any reason to believe i was anything other than my parents firstborn son my father's namesake, but it was my first conviction, the first thing I grew certain of as a young person when I say, I always knew I was a girl with such mm -hmm. certainty. Tell me what that felt like. Confusing. It was confusing because I didn't have language yet. I didn't know how to articulate what I was feeling in rebuttal to the people who are charged with my care. I, was I came into the world supposedly knowing to trust my mother, knowing to trust my father. You know, as a young person, you have not much, you don't have much agency or decision making. That's right, right. And so you just go wherever people pick you up and take you and yeah. say that this is the way the world is. Uh -huh. And something internal inside of me told me constantly mm -hmm. that what they're saying is wrong. And so it creates this dissonance with who can you trust if you know that inside, as a five-year-old, mm -hmm. that this is how you know yourself to be. So you knew that something was different Right? Mm -hmm. Do you think they knew too? Oh yeah. They all knew. <laughs> they all have their stories now. Yeah. Right? My mom talks about the, the first time when I put her earring backing in my ear and it fell down Failure. and I had to go into the, the surgeons and get it suctioned out. My father talks about the times in which he would watch me with a side eye, skeptical, wondering why I moved the way I did around the world, around our little community. Because you were saying in the book you describe it as your, your, why, why you held your wrists that way. You know, why I held my wrists, why I had a little swish in my hips. I had no idea why I was mm -hmm. performing self in this way, why I was expressing my gender in this way. Mm -hmm. I didn't have language to understand that. And I don't think my father did either. All he knew was that that's not how a boy is supposed to act, mm -hmm. not my son. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see.